honestly, I have a front row seat in really impacting an organization. I've seen, I've seen clients come out of bankruptcy and really turn things around. And I know that we were their only hope. I have made salespeople better salespeople. I have made sales managers better sales managers. Um, I have uh, recruited some great people for, for some of our clients. Um, I mean, I just think that I, I get to roll up my sleeves and and really dig in and work with my with my clients. And I build I built relationships with these guys. You know, most of my clients are, are long lasting clients. And I really feel like I'm part of the organization and they make me feel that way. So that's I mean, that's I think ultimately I just I really I like seeing things come to fruition. And that's what you're going to get here. People I find engage with us because they not only like the service that we offer, but I think they also take a liking to our approach. And it turns, you know, it's a business relationship, but I'd be lying if I said there wasn't like friendship elements there as well. And so to me, it's rewarding when I can do good things for our clients and see the results of your work and know that they're truly appreciative. I mean, we, we help people sell more. They're super appreciative of it and they, they let us know. Look, it's challenging. I mean, that's that's what drew me to the role. You know, I always found once I'd, once I'd fixed all the um, problems with a role that I'd taken on previous, that I'd start to feel a little bit like I'm just going through the motions. You know, that to, to really be engaged and involved, you need to be troubleshooting, I think, if you're the right style of personality for this role. And um, that's what I've always loved about this role, and that's what I would miss is that that variety. I mean, I'm working with four clients. I've got four industries. I've got um, four different databases. I'm dealing with different teams, selling different products. It's just there's so much variety. There's always challenge. <laughs> so let's start by talking about your background. Where did you go to school? Um, I did a Bachelor of Business with uh, minors in Marketing and HR and a postgraduate. So I went to school um, at DePaul University in Chicago, and my major was in marketing, communication, and Spanish. So I have a pretty much a liberal arts degree, if you will. I uh, studied at TAFE, actually. Um, I did a few different courses. I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to go um, and where I wanted to be. Um, and I came across training, and that really sparked an interest for me. Uh, business information systems, digital business, and entrepreneurship. And. Uh... How, what, so what did you do in between finishing school and coming here? I ended up going uh, working at Rent Kill Initial um, just as I was about to jet off overseas to London to live. I went for an interview for a training role with them as a junior um, when I was about 21 and um, that just ended up snowballing into nine years later. <laughs> Yeah, and moved up the ranks with um, Rent Kill Initial from an entry level position in training and support um, to working with the senior management team strategically. I moved to Los Angeles uh, to become a songwriter. Uh, didn't quite hack it though. So I was a, a field rep for a manufacturing firm. Uh, we sold saw blades and accessories. And I got a job with HSBC and I uh, started out as an inside salesperson, quickly moved up through the ranks and eventually became a, um, an AVP, so an assistant vice president. So I was, um, I was managing a team of inside salespeople. Um, I did a lot of travel. So I, do, I did a lot with banking. I'd do like a year with a bank and then I'd do a bit of travel. Um, and then overseas, I think I was doing a lot of temp work as well. So uh, quite a wide range of roles. Um, mostly back office, but I did some retail as well. So a real mixed, a mixed bag, I think, would be the best way to describe it. So I worked for a, a large publishing company and then I worked for a large uh, marketing agency for several years. And I tracked under the, I guess you would call it like the account management side. So account coordinator to account executive to account supervisor. That's a pretty common track for uh, the marketing agency world. What have you had to learn to do to be successful in this environment? Well, I think that I'm used to having a training manual, right? Uh, you come into HSBC and you have a training manual and you are sitting down and you are looking at different modules until you pass the module and then you move on to a different module. Here, you don't get a training manual. So if you're if you're one that has to function off a training manager or excuse me, a training manual, this isn't for you. The thing that I had to learn um, from working with you guys was uh, certain communication styles and certainly a level of accountability that I think is um, 
unusual, unusually high, you know. So if, if I come to you with a solution or with a question or with anything, I have to have researched exactly what I'm presenting to you. I have to give you a full synopsis of what's good about it, what's bad about it. Like I can't ever expect you to, you know, go away and do the homework. I do my homework, I bring it to you, I come looking for advice, but I always present business cases to you. So I really learned to communicate in that way rather than just coming to you and saying, I've got a problem. So we bring solutions, not problems, through to management and I think that is the thing that I learned um, the most because this role sort of operates in a very different way to some of the lower level positions that I'd worked in previous. The most notable adjustment would be that there is a number of clients and there are a number of balls rolling at once. Um, with my previous role I could focus on one area and that would be my key whereas um, with a number of clients they all have Key, key projects that need to be delivered and they may all need to be delivered in the same week. You really need to have um, kind of the ability to focus on all the different blips on the radar screen because um, if you don't and you don't pay close attention you're going to hit the iceberg. And all of this work that you're doing in, 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 on a day-to-day -day basis is in the name of what? What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to help them make their sales process more efficient. I'm trying to help them sell more. I'm trying to, I guess, essentially improve their sales. Um, and we look at not necessarily the point of sale, it's the constraints before that that lead to, inevitably, lead to more sales for the business. If you um, managed to identify a friend or a colleague of yours who you, who you thought would just be absolutely fantastic as a ballistics consultant, can you describe what that person would likely be like? Uh, she, she's actually somebody that I worked very closely with and I learn a lot from her. She's very adaptable. Uh, she sees a problem and comes up with the solutions. There's somebody that, don't, that doesn't uh, deviate from the plan, uh, that they stay focused and they are results driven. So, when there is an issue, they're coming to the table with those with those solutions, but staying staying on track to get there. Their work would matter to them. Like it would have to be something that's very fundamental to their sense of um, esteem. You know, they, it would have to really be important to them that things get done right. They'd have to have pride in their work. Um, they'd have to have, be able to have a bit of fun and just roll with things because it's you know it's a high pressure role and there's there's times when things won't go smoothly. So they need to be able to handle that. Um, somebody who's, who's uptight and um, highly strung would struggle with all of the, the punches that get thrown at you, you know, um, with things that go wrong. You know, things go wrong with change management. You have um, emotions coming at you from other people. You certainly can't involve yourself in all of that. And um, and they'd just, they'd just be very open-minded, you know. There'd be somebody who sees a problem and just goes, well, I'm going to figure that out. Um, they're, they're probably the style of personality that I'd see working well in this role and that I'd enjoy working with. Somebody that I feel like we sit down and, and sit side by side and roll our sleeves up and just try and nut something out, rather than feeling like they have to know everything before they um, come across that problem. Because you won't have ready-made solutions for everything that you face. So it's very much about the attitude.